Hey guys, um, I'm back to watch you. Uh, season one, episode four, The Captain. Joe left a lot to be desired last episode. <laughs> I'm interested to see how that went. And yeah, I feel a bit bad because I feel like I've been neglecting my YouTube a little bit. Um, I'm just really missing The Walking Dead and stuff. But I'm still gonna watch the show and film it because I really like this show. It's really, um, it's really hooking and I'm excited to see what happens next. I'm quite like interested, like, I have no idea like where this is going. I mean, I assume that Joe's gonna get more and more stalkerish and then kill somebody else. <laughs> but I feel like he's like an anti-hero and he's gonna be around for a while, like he's not really gonna get caught. Um, yeah, but I've got no idea, so let's get into it. Oh wow, right back into it. weird getting her like in a monologue haven't noticed it before if we have shit captain calls you answer you know how this works you paid for the bed you just got laid on or whatever that was she got a sugar daddy and your phone bill as well damn this girl busy seriously oh yeah i forgot you can see that shit joe probably thinks you're hiding in here Hold on a second, I'll be right out. 500, gee. Love ya. Back. Embarrassing. Oh, a disaster. It's more embarrassing for him. Last night, eight second sex. Joe. Imagine she accidentally sent that to Joe. Well, he can read it anyway, so. If you're gonna act like a whore, may as well look like one. Damn. You just have a magic poon. Hashtag Yoni too good. Thanks, that's busy big. The gifts are so realistic. God, Got pics? That one's obsessed. Is he worth it? I like I wouldn't know a good dick if you hit her over the head with it. It's not like it doesn't have a ton. Bex, love yourself. Ghost him already. Are you saying I don't have bed bugs? I didn't find a one. <laughs> Would you like to see the 22 bites on my ass? Don't answer that. Over there, go find them. Ugh. Tell me you're not writing another dead puppy thing as a metaphor for your dad dying. That's completely what it's really about. Okay, Peach is like uh, annoying me. Like, at first I used to think she was like a good friend, but now I'm like, if I had a friend like that, I'd be like anxious all the time around her because she's so like judgy and rude. <laughs> Love yourself, Bex. Ghost her. <laughs> Why do you need these if you're going on a writer's retreat? What? So it's look hot or be a writer? <laughs> True. <laughs> What is it with motel rooms and you wanting to dive into your panties? <laughs> he is always late. Does she have sex with her sugar daddy? I'm just assuming that he's her sugar daddy at this point. Has he been working Gotta out? Gotta be sugar daddy. Joe's there! Ah, <laughs> oh, so now we're gonna see Joe's point of view and what he did often. Did you just... Just he did. Ignore it, ignore it, Beck. What the hell have I- You're already telling whoever that is. Uh, the captain. What the hell is this? <laughs> Come Love on, you. Joe. Even I'd figure it out. Love you. You never said that to Benji. And look what had to happen to him. I think the captain's about to die of old age. This is my nightmare. A hot dog. <laughs> yes, with the bun. Tell her, Beck. <laughs> Listen to you. Yes, worth it. Okay, one more shot. Got it. Hope you like. That's crazy how that's actually her phone. Surely there's a way of seeing when someone's got your phone and. You do, Beck. I should be your captain. <laughs> Not too late to stop it. So good to see you, hun. Yeah, you too, Dad. Dad? What? This just got weird. Place belongs to a couple from what is going on? <laughs> That's not her real dad, no. So her dad's not dead, he's just with some other family. Is he your secret? Right? Why was it so sexual before? I'm not gonna lie, I love to dress up and go, like, pretend like I'm in a different time. <laughs> Fun. You're such an asshole. Love me, daddy. I'm gonna be a writer, daddy. God, just shut up forever. Hey there. She's really down on herself and she's not even oh, the one doing anything wrong. Right. You really are capable of keeping a secret. There he is with his magic hat. Account. Have at it. 
cool if you're gonna see him then. Oh my god, she is as well. You better come up with an excuse. He just happens to be here too. Right, okay, that is her dad. He's like her sugar daddy, but her real dad. <laughs> she only has a relationship with him for the money. She's so cranky. It's the hormones. She's pregnant. Damn, he gets Why busy. Why would he ever do that? Ooh, Peach is uh, in detective mode. And he, he is going to be a little bit annoyed that he has to stay there. So he's going to let her go wherever she wants to go. I'm not sure we have it. See books of that pedigree we keep under lock and key downstairs. You don't have the key? Well, normally I have the key. Joe's there. Not yet. What does she look like? Uh, 25-ish, brunette, kind of hot, but, you know, maybe that's like a type of thing. Peach Salinger. Are you lying to me? Who told him that's, that's well, where he was going? Looks better. Hey, you. Oh, sorry. So sorry. <laughs> do I run? Shit, shit, shit. Joe. Hey. What are you doing here? Come on. Ah. He's always in the right place at the right time. I guess she's a little tipsy, so she might be a bit not thinking straight. Yes, totally. If you can. I'd love to. We'll see you then. Before my brother and sister, my mom was at work. Uh oh. I find my father. Unconscious with a needle in his arm. Oh. The virtuous maiden is supposed to be rescued by the dashing, sometimes broody, altogether charming hero. <laughs> and who is that? Is that is that meant to be you? The show is like no, throwing no, I know, I know things to for me to analyze at it. But it's so hard because it's just like so many things and I just I just know this you can analyze this show so deeply. Like all things that he says and things that she says and the way it's filmed. Ugh. Do like programs like this. <laughs> That's the only unrealistic thing about this, though, is that you wouldn't really invite. If if I was like somewhere, and someone was like, "Oh, who are you talking to?" I'd be like, "Oh, just some person at a bookstore." I wouldn't be like, "Oh, come to dinner with us." I should be like, "All right, bye." <laughs> it's pouring. I learned every swear word in the book that day. I don't think he remembers, dear. I think he can speak for himself, Nancy. You didn't save him. You think he'll fall over if you pull your hand out of his ass? Guinevere, enough. The hell are you looking at? Guinevere, snap. To my daughter that <laughs> Joe's just gonna stay there. <laughs> so I, I, I didn't argue with you. <laughs> Love how she still wears her jingly bracelets with the outfit. Do you want him dead? He's like, because I can make that happen. <laughs> what? What? Never mind. Never mind. It kind of feels all stuff. Believe me, I'm the king. Unresolved family issues. I know what people splitting feels like. Don't tease me of your backstory, Joe. That's how I sleep. <laughs> the woman at the drugstore you hit on who isn't long. The renters blocking the drive. <laughs> She's chaotic. Joe. They say girls with daddy issues are really good in bed. She's giving him a second chance. He's unprepared, but. Like, what are you doing this for? <laughs> How does she not 
see that. It's <laughs> very. You watching me? Maybe. Uh uh. Stalker. Learn from the best. Literally. Her hair is always perfect. Even if not all of them. <laughs> She's dressed like a. Your happiness. A burglar. Oh, he's got his hat on. If Peach still has a problem. Well, every relationship has its obstacles to overcome, right? How did he do that? I won't let her get in the way of respect. He's on some next level. So he actually is good at what he's good at what he does sometimes, and other times he's complete amateur. It's like what? That was an interesting episode. I was so shocked about her dad. <laughs> Um, being there and being alive. Next one's called Living with the Enemy. She's going to be spending more time at his, I assume. He's going to have to hide all those. I can't believe. <laughs> Why is all her stuff just out like that? The underwear, like, what the hell? Maybe that's how he lasted a bit longer this time. <laughs> Peach is getting onto him. She's going to know that he came in and put that back. She's not going to think, oh, I didn't see that. Because everybody, her and Beck, no, saw that it wasn't on the bookshelf. I feel like he messed up by doing that a little bit. He should have put he shouldn't have put it back on the bookshelf. He should have put it like on the floor under a chair, like somewhere where anyone at the party could have or he could have been reading it and then dropped it and it got lost like that. It being on the shelf is like creepy. If I was Peach, I would have been like, what the hell? Especially after she went to the bookstore and asked for it. Like, come on Joe. Why am I team Joe? If he doesn't even want- okay, he's killed somebody, but it was Benji, so... No, he ain't good. <laughs> he's getting worse, in a way. Peach is getting more detective-y. I'm excited to see what happens in the next one, obviously. Um, I feel like Joe, keep, Joe has like nine lives, and he keeps pushing it. Like, it's like he doesn't even care if he gets caught sometimes. Like, he's just been very lucky. He's one of those lucky people. So yeah, we'll see what, what happens next. Um, don't forget to subscribe, guys. I will try and post more. Um, I hope everyone's staying safe. Come and say hi on, on Instagram if you want. Say hi in the comments here. Get talking to people. Make sure you're staying in contact with people, friends. You know, even if it's once a week. And I will keep you posted with my next video. Or you. Bye. Don't. Forget it. Don't Subscribe!